Our commencement speaker this afternoon is Mr. Daryl Chill Mitchell. He says his friends call him Chill, so I'm, I'm going to call him Chill. Chill is an accomplished actor who is a veteran of more than 40 movies and television shows. He currently stars on the popular CBS crime drama NCIS New Orleans, which is shot in and around New Orleans and it has its production headquarters at UNO's NIMS Center in Elmwood. Mr. Mitchell is a native of New York City, and after a career in hip hop in the 1980s, he successfully transitioned to acting. Chill has appeared in television shows including The John Larroquette Show, Law and Order, Ed, Desperate Housewives, Becker, and Veronica's Closet. And his films include House Party, Sergeant Bilko, Galaxy Quest, 10 Things I Hate About You, and Inside Man. In 2001, Chill was paralyzed from the waist down in a motorcycle accident. He has continued his acting career and since started the Daryl Mitchell Foundation to raise awareness about spinal cord injuries. He serves as the Minority Outreach Spokesperson for the Christopher Reeve Foundation and has become a vocal advocate for employing actors with disabilities. He is the 2010 recipient of the NAACP Image Award. And before he addresses us, please enjoy this brief video. Incredible triumphs, devastating losses, unbelievable chance, and sudden misfortune. Then there was life after. About the accident in 2001, it's some things that you want to remember, some things you don't. It was just a normal day. I mean, the night before, my nephew was asking me to ride his bike. So I said, let me jump on this thing and feel how, you know, how I ride. And I seen a picture of me actually on the bike. It's a good looking picture too, boy. I was cute. So I, that's the only thing I remember was, I think I remember taking the off. First job, I got out the hospital. I was out about two months and they called me to do the show. It was an episode and you know, we was in there talking about how I get dressed and I was telling them and they was like, yo, would you mind showing that on the camera? I was like, nah. This guy wrote me a letter and he said, you know something? He said, I've been in a wheelchair for 20 years and I've been getting dressed in my chair, fighting to pull my pants up and watched you on one episode of the show, lay in the bed, put your pants on, roll over your stomach, pull it up in the back and get out the bed. He said, dude, I, I, you, you learn something every day. I get it. It sucks when your body won't do what you ask it to. How'd you end up in that chair anyway? bear attack. You throw in a set of variance key, you might cut your trace time in half. Believe me, I've considered it, but that would take another year or two, which I don't have. Might not have. Listen, man, after I had my accident, the odds of me moving anything below my neck was a million to one. Had I given up, I would have got a bed instead of a sled. You're gonna wear out the terracotta. Patton, Flame, you gotta be kidding me. As handsome and as dashing as ever. You're a federal agent? Well, I like to think of it more like superhero. When NCIS needs me, I swoop in to save the day. Rough night, LaSalle, huh? If I rough, you mean legendary, my man. Were we on fire last night or what? Hold up, you two went out together? The image of Patton Plain twerking on a bar, it's not gonna be easy to erase. And the image award goes to no, no, keep holding my hand. We can do this. Oh, my good, you say it. Daryl Chill Mitchell. I ain't gonna take up a lot of time, man. I wanna thank y'all, because I know as long as y'all got legs, I'm gonna always walk. But I wanna say to Jimmy Delaney, my manager, to Jason E. Bird, to Larry Robbins, to my dog, Jaren, holding me down. To everybody, yo, love and peace. To my brothers and son and son. And yo, to my family, my wife, my kids. Now I want to dedicate this to my grandmother. I love you, and I'm bringing it on, baby.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce your commencement speaker, Mr. Daryl Chill Mitchell. Thank you very much for that. Before I get started, I gotta tell you a story. You know that, you know a story was coming. When I was uh, nominated for the NAACP Image Award, I really didn't believe I was gonna win. So I told my assistant, I said, he said, you wrote a speech? I said, man, I ain't writing no speech, I ain't gonna win. He said, but what if you, what you gonna do? I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry, that way I win them over. So I get up there and I get to talking, start crying and I can't stop. I'm crying, my boy over there going, you killing him dog, you killing him. And I'm sitting there, I, 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 I can't talk. I'm like, yeah, we, every time I see that, I crack up because I didn't realize how overwhelming it would be to see everybody in that room giving me so much love, and it just overwhelmed me. So, I, oh, thank y'all very much for that. Before I get started, I have so much on my mind, but I have so little time. I, I know you guys want to head to the Bahamas and finish y'all party off, because I, you know, I just left the Bahamas. I might, I might have seen a few of you out there. Now I know what spring break is all about. Yeah. Well, first of all, I want to say I'm so honored and I really find it a privilege that you guys invited me out here today to be your commencement speaker. Speaker, this is my first time ever doing this, so it is truly an honor to me. To the parents, I wanna thank you guys for them because you're the reason I'm here because of them. So make sure they pay you back. <laughs> All your gas, money, and hard work. But thank you. John, Stacy. I don't know where you are. They invited me to their home last night. I almost didn't make it here. It was, we had a little bit too much fun. Played a little bit of cards. That got a little out of hand. We stopped that because too much arguing was going on. It, it was a mess. So we did make it here. But no, I just want to say, well, I started out in New York as a rapper and got into acting. I just want to say to you guys, please leave your options open. This is the very beginning of your life. At 19 years old, I was an S corporation. I said, I'm going to go to California for two weeks just to try to do some more movies after house party. I wound up staying for 10 years, 19 years old. So I'm saying to you guys, think globally. I'm from New York. I live in Atlanta. I started in California. I now work in New Orleans. Don't get no better than New Orleans. <laughs> and as I always tell people, when they ask me, I said, I'm right here, baby. I ain't going nowhere, you heard me? <laughs> so, but one thing I want to say is preparation, opportunity, it equals success. One thing we can always do is make money, but you can't buy time. Please don't waste your time. Use every moment of your life because tomorrow can be a whole different thing. Because I tell people all the time, if I saw this accident coming, I would have went the other way. So just know, but I just want to say I'm so honored and I'm so proud to be here. One thing about adversity, I tell people, if you lay down, you stay down. From the moment I got out of the hospital, that's how I ended up on TV show Ed, four months out of, out of the hospital, I refused to stay there because I knew I had something to do and I had somewhere to go. And I refused to say, no, I'm no, I'm no give up. I said, you know what, I'll cry later. I got things to do right now. And I'm telling you, you guys, especially you young ones in the audience, first of all, let me see. How many of y'all know that song, Juju on that beat? <laughs> Raise your hand. I gotta make sure. If you know the song, help me finish it. Juju on that beat. Juju on that beat. You ugly. You ugly. You ugly. Why? I'm, okay, let me talk to y'all, Jay. 
okay? They, they, you your daddy's son. Y'all, you know, did y'all, did y'all do homework? But you guys, the reason I'm talking to you guys because it's 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 true statement. They always say the youth is the youth. When I see my presidents and my elect president is working Twitter, things that you guys been doing, they getting their message across the way you've been getting your message across. Now we realize that your vote is really important, that y'all are making differences, y'all are making movements. Y'all, I, I, you know, in other countries, you got the youth that are starting revolutions. It's, now you got the tools. You guys are blessed with the tools that we know because I know that I'm a different person than the average. You guys do what you have done. You are showing that y'all are different than the average. Y'all have this tenacity to win. And you need to hold on to that. And you need to put it out there. You are making a difference for so many people, including myself. Because when I look over here and I see, all I see is success. You guys that are going to be doctors, you guys are working to be lawyers. I spoke to a young man last night. I told him, his, his young lady was with him. She said, yeah, I, I want to be a model. I said, you want to be a model or are you a model? She said, oh, I am a model. Oh, the, okay. I tell kids all the time, if you, if you, if you want to be a doctor, get you some scrubs. Walk around in the mall with your scrubs on. <laughs> See how different people treat you. I told people, you think I just became a star? I knew I was a star early. I ain't just decide to be an actor. I knew I was special because I was a show off. I like attention and I always work for it. I didn't, so that's what I'm saying. If you know that's what you're going to be, walk around, wear your uniform and feel it. It don't start now. You are that right now. They just happen to, you want everybody else to recognize. Everybody else just ain't realize it yet that you are who you are. And that's the way that I always approach things. But that's the main thing that I always like to say is like, when I see, you know, I told him too, he said he wanted to, you know, he, got, he went four years here and then he got to do five years. I said, who knows, you might want to study somewhere overseas. Don't just think locally right here. Because it's a bigger, uh, the world, and we know the internet done shrunk the world. So put yourself out there and receive. I've done movies in Canada. I always wanted to start in the community, but you know, at 19, I knew I wasn't fearful. I, you know, I just had to get out there. I was the youngest one that, to leave my mother's home. I, was, I didn't leave before everybody, but I left at an earlier age because I knew what I wanted to do and to pursue that. And the thing about it is surround yourself with people that are positive and moving. I tell people all the time, if you continue to think what you always thought, you will continue to get what you always got. So if you think you're successful, you will be successful. And if you want to, don't be nothing, just surround yourself with nothing. You know how people tell you? You want to know your personality? I'm just going to look at the friends you surround yourself with. And I'm going to know who you are. But right here, and another thing I'm going to tell you, do me a favor. I want you to look at the person right next to you. Just look at that person and look at that other person. The reason I did that, let me tell y'all about the road to success. Boy, that's a lonely road. A lot of y'all ain't gonna see each other on that road. Not saying that you won't be on the road. Some gonna be ahead and some might be a little behind. But it's a lonely road. And when it get lonely, you know you're on the right path because you're doing something different everybody else ain't doing. A lot of people want that shortcut. You're doing something everybody else ain't doing. You're different. You are a professional. You wearing that uniform. If you'd have came in here and something different, I'd have been like, where we at? You know, no, I'm at the wrong place. But no, I'm at the right place. I know I'm special right now because I'm with y'all. Look at me. <laughs> I'm here with you. So I know I, I'm very long-winded and I'm watching the clock because I know we got to move this thing along. But I just want to say all my blessings to you. And I want to thank you guys. And I know one thing, as I always tell everybody else, I see you on top. I will see you on top. God bless y'all. Thank you.